Kate Beckinsale may be an English-born actress, but she's long lived in Los Angeles. After 15 years of calling an estate in Brentwood home, she sold it for just under $4 million. The picturesque home had a Cape Cod style plus 3,000 square feet of living space with five bedrooms and some beautiful landscaping outside. While Kate keeps her current Hollywood home on the down low, we can see that it's much more modern and minimalistic in style. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home that we moved into earlier this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. And once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kate Beckinsale is an English actress who made her film debut in the early 90s when she was a student at Oxford. She started off in British productions and then in the late 1990s, transitioned over to film work in the US. In the early 2000s, Kate worked on some big movies, including starring roles in the likes of The Aviator, and all of these movies established her in Hollywood. Since she began to play the main character in the Underworld movies, Kate has also become known for her work in action movies and went on to do others. Despite starting off in a one bedroom apartment in the lovely London neighborhood of Shepherd's Bush, it seems that for most of her life and career, Kate has chosen to live in California rather than in her native England. She's also called the same place home for well over a decade, no less. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and today looking at where Kate Beckinsale calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In August 2021, Kate Beckinsale decided to move on from her charming home in Brentwood, Los Angeles. Unlike many celebrities, the English-born actress seems quite down to earth when it comes to her real estate decisions, considering she spent 15 years in the same exact house, which most Hollywood stars wouldn't dream of. Set on nearly half an acre lot right above the Mandeville Canyon, this property cost Kate $3.6 million way back in 2006. And surprisingly enough, she only asked $4 million for it last year. Well, that could be the reason why the home sold in a few short weeks. While the home was constructed in 1965, it had been updated and modernized since. An interior spanned 3,603 square feet of space, also offering four bedrooms and five bathrooms. Many celebrities and well-to-do folks love the suburban neighborhood of Brentwood, as it's quiet and upscale with tree-lined streets and a variety of homes in different styles. Some highlights of this area include classy restaurants, warm cafes, the Brentwood County Mart, and the Getty Center Museum. Kate's home was separated from the street by some towering trees, and it might not look like it's super private, but upon taking a closer look, you can see it is a secluded oasis, and there are gorgeous white walls around the property as well as the yard. The home boasts a Cape Cod-inspired design, including white siding and stone accents on the exterior, while many interior spaces are open plan and full of natural sunlight. Some of the designer details include a mix of maple and tiles floors and recess. Lighting. Walking up the stone steps, the front door offers a covered porch with some skylights overhead and a petite sitting area, and once inside, a double height entryway with grand staircase and chandelier is a bit of a surprise. There are also some skylights here, and the white walls and ceilings are contrasted with the rich hardwood flooring underfoot. The common living spaces are very open and bright and flow into one another easily. They even open right up to the gorgeous outdoor spaces through a handful of French doors on every wall. There's there's a grand library and study with built-in bookshelves, double height ceilings, and additional storage on top, accessed by a ladder. This space, according to listing materials, flowed into the formal living and dining rooms, which in turn led to the other public spaces. Kate's former living room had a stylish slanted ceiling overhead along with a stone fireplace and more doors to the backyard, while a dining enclave was set back behind this sitting room. The larger and more open family room was attached to the kitchen, also with its own wood-burning stone fireplace. Over in the kitchen, it offered plenty of space, including the giant work island right in the middle. There were chic white cabinets, Carrera marble, and walnut counters, as well as stainless steel appliances here, including bonuses like a separate snack bar island and a wine fridge. The decor upstairs in the bedrooms follows the same matching style as downstairs for the most part, including in Kate's former master suite. This elegant room offers high ceilings with wood beams, as well as a double-sided fireplace that's shared with the attached bath. 
bath. The ensuite has double vanities, a large walk-in glass shower, separate tub, as well as a spacious walk-in closet on the other side. Not to mention Kate's bedroom had French doors out to what looks like a balcony, but is actually access to a private bridge which passes over the lawn below, and it leads to a hidden spa tub in the lush hillside above the home. I must admit that this has to be the coolest feature here. Out of the three guest and family bedrooms, one of them includes its own cozy loft space above which can be accessed by a ladder. Over the years calling this place home, Kate has also shared plenty of glimpses inside, whether it was just her unwinding with her pets or family, or hosting gatherings. We could also see that one of the bathrooms in the home offered a standalone tub and black and white checkerboard tiles underfoot for a stylish look. Despite its lack of a swimming pool, Kate's backyard was charming and glamorous with privacy walls surrounding it and full of stunning gardens. A sprawling stone patio right off of the home had a cozy outdoor fireplace area as well as an outdoor shower. I'll swear there is also terrace space with a table to dine al fresco. After moving on from her longtime Brentwood estate, Kate has kept details about her current home quite private. Despite that, she shared photos on social media where we can see the place she's now living and compared to the the home we just looked at, this new house is an extremely contemporary affair. Reportedly, the home is located in the Hollywood Hills, and we've seen the mansion boast some staircases outside with glass railings and a resort-like feel. The property looks like it's designed in a very modern and almost minimalistic style, but is the definition of luxury living. It appears Kate wanted a bit of a change in style after her last beloved home. In one clip Kate shared with her cats, we can see the circular living area has walls of glass sliders all around, columns decked out in twinkling fairy lights, and shiny marble flooring underfoot. Another photo outside shows that at this home, Kate finally has a swimming pool. The glass sliders from the main living area open right out to the poolside area, and a covered patio here also has a chic outdoor fire pit with some seating nearby. We can also see that elsewhere outside, Kate has set up a space for some yoga and workouts in the fresh air, under a covered, round patio area that looks so welcoming. Inside, there's also a plush faux fur covered couch that looks so stylish where Kate loves kicking back with her pets, while the living room is surrounded by walls of glass. What looks to be the master bath is also super sleek with a rotunda style ceiling overhead, standalone tub, and all glass shower. While her nearly all white polished main hallway serves as a runway and a place for photo shoots by the looks of it. Either way, from what we can see, Kate Beckinsale's modern mansion in Hollywood looks like an absolute dream. Alright everyone, that's gonna wrap up this video. After looking at Kate's homes, including her longtime former spot in Brentwood, and what we can see from her current ultra contemporary mansion in Hollywood, which did you prefer? Honestly, I usually would choose the more charming one, but in this case, her current modern home is so stunning and cool. So I'll just have to pick that one. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!